Mario here. Mario here. All right, so today we are doing chapter six. Chapter six is going to be fun. There's going to be a lot of uh, witty stuff going on, probably. And also, I also figured out how to add mods. Yeah. Um, it turns out I was using the wrong ID. So, uh, yeah, that's on me. That's my bad. Really stupid of me to do that. So, thing is, the 60 FPS mod is not very stable. It's, it's pretty unstable, actually. And also, Mario is doing the gritty. <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask. Yo, what's up, Jose? Don't ask why Mario is doing the gritty. Uh, that's just a mod that I found. Um, so yeah, the 60 FPS, the 60 FPS mod doesn't really do much, but it might make the game run a little smoother. I mean, I don't know if it really looks that that much smoother to you guys. It might be hard to tell, but. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, in the last episode, we did a bunch of grinding and all that good stuff. Uh, we did a lot of recipes. I know that for sure. And there's a couple things I want to do. It's not uncapped. It's, um... The 60 FPS mod is more about making sure the game doesn't go under 30 FPS. That's more of what the mod actually does for right now. Until I can figure out how to actually get it to run work properly on my Switch. It'll probably work better on an actual emulator, but... Here's the problem with emulator, right? Now, I tried playing this game on emulator. And if you have an AMD graphics card, the game won't even work. It'll just break when you get to Rogue Port Sewers. So you can't even play it on... Uh, half the computers. Like, half the computers won't even load the game properly. So, yeah. I'm sure it'll look good, though. Once, uh, someday, I say, I say give it, like, maybe a few years. We'll see where the TTYD modding scene goes. It's kind of interesting. Anyways, let's upgrade another partner. I kind of want to get Shell Slam, not gonna lie. I haven't been using Coops much, but if he has Shell Slam, that would be pretty damn good. Shazumi. Oh. I mean, honestly, I've gotten used to the game being in 30 FPS, so I honestly don't even mind all that much. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just gaslighting myself into thinking it's okay. And also, I, I this is gonna be so stupid. Like, the rest of the playthrough is just gonna be Mario doing the fucking gritty across the map. <laughs> it's so stupid. It, it, it makes it more funny, though. People are going to come to my stream and they're going to be like, Ayo, why the fuck is Mario doing the gritty? And you know what? I'm not even going to answer their question. It's just They're just going to have to look in awe of him doing that. It's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. He only does it during this. He doesn't do it when he's going up, though. I noticed. Yeah. Anyway, I think the game looks fine. Apparently it does break some things, though. But, I guess we'll see, right? So, um, oh yeah, before I, before I do that, let me read this mail. Hide and seek. Wait, what's up, Koops? After you found me, Koops, I found a nice hiding hiding nook at this place called Crystal Palace. A nice, uh, Paper Mario reference there. It's so cold, my shell's frosty, but it's a great place for hiding. Obviously, I don't want anyone to find me, but the thing is, I do want people to see how good I am at hiding. You see the blind I'm in? Anyway, spread the word. Come find your wandering high sheep Koopa. See you later. Oh, no. I well, that makes another Paper Mario 64 reference. Sometimes my eyes can deceive me. Since sometimes when I install 60 FPS, it looks like the game fast forwards. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't really care about a 60 FPS mod. I just want a game. I just want a mod that makes the game run like 10% faster. Because then the 10%, if it's 10% faster, then it'll be on par with the, the original, honestly. It's the XS Express, bound for luxurious partially heights. Passengers must present a ticket to board. Yeah. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming on board? Yes. Light your step, please. 
All right, here we go. All aboard. Yeah. Also, I forgot to take off the GameCube badge. Oops. Chapter 6. Three days of excess. I guess we'll have to hear the remake song later when we get all the shine sprites. Mario's Cabin. Imagine, imagine the X Express. It's pretty darn nice. The three days to possibly haze ought to go pretty quick, huh? Oh! Hey, there's something on the floor there. Weird. When did that get there? I mean, the game, the the the, the, the GameCube original runs at 60, which is why. It's really disappointing that it, the remake runs at 30, but like they have all these fancy lighting effects, so if the game if the remake on like a newer console could run at 60, that would be awesome. Don't go to Hoshley Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky yummy doom awaits it. Um, that's an odd threat. You don't think that Beldum put it there, do you? Well the fact that it appeared now means the culprit's on the train. We have to get this weird Tibet threatener before they do anything sticky or yummy. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me take off the, ba the GameCube badge. Shine Sprite. There's a dried mushroom inside the drawer. Yeah, we can have that, I guess. Wait, ain't there a... I remember the, the Excess Express stuff. Look, I know there's a panel in one of these rooms. There it is. Oh. Before I do anything, let's gritty our way on out of here, and then let's, uh, get all the panels and stuff. It's a passenger car. Orange and brown decor. That actually looks good. I always thought it looked more red. But, okay. Passenger cabins here are number three, four, and five, in case you forgot your numbers. We also have Huff T. Huff T, one of the funniest characters. That's Hef- oh, it's Hefty. Hefty, the gourmet toad. There isn't an entree out there he can't lick, literally. He's here for the train ride and the excellent food. He's got travel all figured out. I'm taking notes. There are several gourmet food magazines in here. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the XX Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train. And now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true. Yeah, fucking fat ass toad. See, before Bowser's insight story had fat toads, it had that guy. Nice music. This is a passenger car. The gray and brown colors actually work here. Wow. There are two passenger cabins here, numbers one and two. This is where Toodles is, I believe. Yep. Well, hello there, you ducky debonair disho man, you. You're smashing, dear. Was this me, a witch? Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. That's Toodles the Toad. Gosh, that woman's so fast she won't make me sick. She's obviously the kind of lady that belongs on this train. Classy all the way. There are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Ooh, Cosmetics. Oh yeah, we have the, the, the Zip Toad. Hey guy, yeah, you know this, but I'm the absolutely famous movie star Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion coin art flick at Boshley Heights, yo. I tell you, being a celebrity is rough. Everywhere I go, girls mob me for my autograph. Exhausting. I knew I knew him. That's Zip Toad, the movie star. Women go wild for him. You know, he's hot and all, but he seems pretty stuck up with being famous. I guess all celebrities are kind of that. It's too bad, because I kind of like them. Is there any other, um... There's several postcards featuring zip code. Ain't there a star piece in one of these? There's actually nothing in this car, okay. You know, I might be thinking of the third cabin. The third cabin has it. AKA the blue one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like the door may not be opened while the train's in motion. 
The fucking the stupid gritty. Oh yeah, there is a panel here. By the way, apparently there's a bug in the original TTYD where if you're riding the train backwards, there's no star piece panel in this room, which is kind of dickish. Maybe they fix that, but I'm not going to be here to test that. This is the engineer's ca car of the XX Express. Any kid would love to see this. Look at me, Mario. I'm an engineer. Whoop, whoop. Hey, but driving a train is really nothing to joke about. I totally respect engineers. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome to the XX Express. I'm what's called the train engineer. Our journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days. Days filled with opulent luxury, I might add. Let's all hear it for the XX Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Hey. What? A sticky, yummy threat of some kind. Are you serious? Oh, that can't be good for business. I can't leave the controls, so can you afford a conductor at the end of the train? Oh, nice pointing spray. That's cool. Bonk. I can't leave the controls, so you can inform the conductor of the threat. That's the engineer of the XS Express. Talk about a dream job for kids. But just saying you drive a train doesn't make you cool. You gotta love the job. I mean, we're talking about a train here. That's some serious responsibility. This is the train's operation console. There are many small switches and levers here. Bonk. 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 You know what? I gotta, I'm gonna bonk everybody. I, I keep forgetting to do that. Bonk. <laughs> bonk. Bonk. Don't mind me just going around bonking everybody. Okay, this is really this is really funny. I love this mod already. I love it way more than I thought it would. This is the dining car. There all seems to be a cute little shop here. Dining and shopping while watching scenery go by. Talk about heavenly. Bonk. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car. Where are you eating stuff? Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily family food. And this train, we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. I want an autograph. That's a third server of Access Express. Some people find they're a bit spacey. Think she's an okay waitress? Either way, she's apparently pretty popular among the passengers. Any ideas why, Mario? I mean, she's cute. That's why. Hurrah! I am Safshimi, the scholarly expert. Glad to make your acquaintance. Ah, uh, I'm your acquaintance. So sorry, chip chip's not my first language, you know. Today's ones are so amazing. It will make your tongue cry on shame. Please don't taste it. It's so that my passion does not wither around in a part of where he is. This is Chef Shimi, the cook aboard the XX Express. He has to cook for everyone here, so he's always busy. I can't figure this guy out. I have no idea if he's joking most of the time. Bonk. We also have this special toad. Bonk. Out goes it, Traveler. Welcome to the sales stall. We have lots of souvenirs. Oh, he does, he's like a fucking bellhop, dude. Look at that. Um, what can I withdraw? Um... Not really a whole lot I actually want to take out. I guess the shroom maple shroom's fine. Anything else I can help you with? No. I will buy a couple Thunder Rages, though. Oh, never mind, I can't, because I'm out of money. God damn it, why do I always gotta be out of money? Fucking sucks dick. I swear there's a panel in here. I might be going crazy. I might be crazy. There might not be a panel here. Miss Mouse, can you double check that for me? Okay. Uh, I mean, there might be one in the other cabin. Who knows? Actually, I didn't think. I don't think I tattled this guy, did I? That's the sales stall owner. You can buy and sell things here, obviously. Yeah, just about the only thing cooler than the traveling is traveling and shopping. Thankfully, I know my way around Chapter 6. So, this chapter might not take long. 
I mean, it might still take two hours, because I'm going to be reading all the dialogue, but it's one of the shortest chapters when you're not reading the dialogue, you know what I mean? Here's a passenger car. The blue and brown interior is totally chic. The passenger cabin here are numbered 6, 7, and 8, but you knew that. Ah, oh, my goat, Pennington. There are several detective novels in here. That's Pennington, a train passenger. He says he's a detective, but I don't know. I mean, why do detective types always show up when something goes wrong, huh? Actually, I'll talk to him last, because I know he's the most important one here. So, let's talk to the others first. There's nothing here. Me? Uh, I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Palshi Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense count, yes. He's a rat to a businessman. He's on the XF Express for the business, obviously. I bet he's putting everything on an expense count, huh? Is that a fringe benefit? I like that guy. He's cool. I forgot what his name was. He had a- I swear he had a name. There's a star piece in the drawer. Yeah. Oh, is that you're the champion of the glass pit, are you not? Yes, the great Gonzalez. Bound for both lights. Well, it's certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. We are en route to Portly Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bob here. Ah, oh, <laughs> my, my. Yeah, I'm Bub. We're gonna get a birthday present for me and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? That's Bub the Bomb. He's from a very rich family, so he's kind of spoiled. Still, kids are kids no matter how big their trust fund is, aren't they? That's Sylvia. She's super wealthy. She's got a real high society air. I think these are actually the same as the ones in Glitzville. Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. Hello to you and welcome to the Exit Express. I am the conductor of this train. Oh my god, the fucking salute. That's amazing. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Cabin 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Just to let you know, beyond here is the pa baggage car. I'm sorry, but I can't let passengers in. Yeah. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I see. Good gracious me. Thank you for letting me know. Please be careful out there and return to your cabin. Okay. That's the conductor of the X Express. He takes care of passengers' needs. Keeping this train running smoothly is not just the engineer's job, you know. Oh, wait, actually, I just realized. I think, um, I think Pennington's gone now. Oh yeah, fuck. Is there anything in this cabin either? Oh, nothing in here? Okay. Oh, stupid. I should have talked to Pennington then. Oops, my bad. Oh well. Either way, we got anything on the train now. Essex Stress Car 3. I thought I was gonna have a nice lunch on my XFS account. Rats. This is truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. A dive for a taco guy. Couldn't you just whip up some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This is in my contract. Oh no. And zip cuts here and everything. No. My life is totally ruined. My roast is ruined. No, my hot cars out in the salty pan of misery. That was my masterpiece. Uh, my mean masterpiece. And that's gone. I'm revved with tears of horror in my eyes. Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. Oh, we're gonna have some jazzy tunes, man. Yeah, some good shit. But what shall we call it? That is the question for us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that'll do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. What a mystery! A mystery you just said? Oh, and um, uh, exactly what kind of dish is that? 
I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh! The central clue of this case also happens to be the most vital one, as it happens. Is that our perpetrator took the whole pot stew? No. And so, my esteemed friends, I can only conclude that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous wooden. Wah! Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills. You understand? Yes, sorry. Mm, howdy face. Mm, very good. Now, let's get serious, shall we? Uh, this, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess is about it, right? Oh, uh, this seems to for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my cabin. Hmm. You there? In a bit of a hurry to get back to your cabin, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken the case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Z Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Tech the Person. You're just making stuff up, you you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well then, who did do it, hmm? Hmm. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Oh. So uncool. This geezer is totally like way out of control. Why, I can sniff it shrew. I mean stew. Why? Why? You, my Swiss hair friend, have been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect indeed. N no 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 no. People, I have apprehended the rogue. Yes, I have broken the case wide open. He has been skulking about this area the whole time, under our very nose. The pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously back. Is you! Oh! No! You are not the bandit, you say? Hmm. Indeed, you would say that. Well, if you're not, in fact, the crook, then perhaps you could prove your innocence. By searching for the real perpetrator. Then we'll know that it's not you. There? Bonk. 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 Alright. A clue. There are traces of something on the flooring. Hey, this totally looks like spilled stew on the floor. We can follow the trail of the thief, Mario. Hey, you might even be the same person who wrote the sticky yummy threat note. What makes you say that? Goomba's intuition. Eh. <laughs> we'll probably find the thief if we follow the trail of the spilled stew. It'll probably be a lot easier for newcomers because of the hint system. But you know what? I ain't complaining about. Clue, there's a trace of something on the flooring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you want? <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, now, what were you saying? Uh, apart from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen, and you blame me right away with no evidence. Not nice. What? Drops stew on the floor outside? Well, there's another bit of censorship. <laughs> you blame the fat guy. <laughs> no, I wouldn't know anything about that. Nope, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. The Toad in Cabin says, The, co the Toad in Cabin 3 is acting kind of suspicious. He mentions his own drawer. Should we search his cabin? I know absolutely no less than a smidgen of nothing about any stew pot. And if you don't believe me, you can check the drawer. I mean, wait, wait, don't do that. Oh! 
There's something under the magazines. Galley pot, an empty stew pot. This thing looks like it was licked clean. Dur I'm sorry, I ate all. It was me. Oh, he doesn't say dole anymore, like Homer Simpson? Bruh. That's two changes I noticed already. So, you were enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Answer. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. I'm sorry. It was a brief moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call her the ruffian. Now, about that note in your cabin. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in cabin six so that we may discuss this in private. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef. So, I got a question. Is the Essex Express its own thing? Oh yeah, it is. Fit 60% star pieces. The ultimate the ultimate in locomotive travel. Famed famed is not only for its stunning appearance, but its comfortable ride as well. well I'm glad this is an, a separate area. This is Riverside, this is Poshley Heights. You get the drill. Also, um, I think I know what the last two star pieces are, and they're actually tied to story progression, so. We won't be getting them yet. Alright. Anyways. We're good. My tag is in cabin 6. Any idea what he wants to talk about? I don't know, but... Oops. We're gonna need, uh... We're gonna need our good old pal Josh. I do like this music. This music's pretty nice. Sounds like, sounds like French music, actually. Ah, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one who you apprehended is our sticky, yummy mal malcontent. I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his cabin. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So, it is decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. Huh? Me? To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. I love how sassy Pennington is. I'm sure you've heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache, that nose. Hmm. <laughs> all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? Oh! No, 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 no. No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky tasty explosion. The family were bombs. They are definitely suspect. Now Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Okay. Who's this family? And can they really blow up a train? We should start by checking the cabins in car four. <laughs> Ooh, I love this song. Are you listening? No, no, here's a little bomb. Here's a little, a little fluff feature. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I am so, so bored. I wish I brought my GBA. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I think we should get Little Bob the Advanced Learner's classic series of Bob Armory. Two words. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. 
Life is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking about your own social status. He needs something that'll further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of the stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister. Are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. If, okay, if you bring what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Here's your hint. It, it has ah at the front. Now you got it, don't you? The hint for what I want it has an ah at the front. You want another hint? Yes. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you got it, don't you? So Bob wants an autograph from a certain someone? But who? Could it be someone on this train? I can hear everything that family's fighting loud, loud, loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> That's probably your hint, honestly. I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well, I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. I'm pretty sure Pennington hints like really shitty. The thing that young Master Bub wants most. Well, let's deduce, shall we? Why, it's rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Yes, I'm quite sure. My grasp of modern youth civil culture's enthusiasts and desires have never been stronger. I mean, it's not, he's not wrong. He definitely he said he does want his Game Boy Advance. Honestly, I should talk to everybody on the train, though. That'll make this, this chapter a little more interesting. There's a shiny stove here. It's been polished a brilliant luster. Oh, good shot. Have you discovered my thoughts? Wait, my pot. Ah, oh, so you are the hero of my world. You have brought back my dear pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I rob it thanks to you from me. Here's just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Praise fake it. Oh, why must I butcher this ra this language so so shameful? Praise take it, I mean. Oh. Yes, about this thief. I am actually praised that he craved my stew enough to steal the entire pot. My heart is filled with no anger, but rather the warmth of brought the warm broth of satisfaction. You solved this incident in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Yes. Really? Well, wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Let's go over the info we gathered. Bob wants an autograph from someone. We also know that Bob wants to be a train engineer when he grows up. So the reasonable conclusion is... To do the gritty around the train, of course! Man, I'm so smart at this! <laughs> this song is great, though. Sorry for causing all the commotion. Man, that stew is scum diddly umptious. I can't wait for dinner. I can't wait for dinner. We're gonna be talking to more people. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now, listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? Apparently, apparently Yuzu hates the dodge status. I have not tested the dodgy status for myself, so I don't know what it's like. But we might te we might have to test it out, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing the good idea all over the place. What does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph from a famous movie star, right, guy? <laughs> Sorry, though. That's a no-can-do for me. 
My fee for autographs is out of your budget. What? Bro, that's so lame. That's a that's like the third change this chapter, dude. What the fuck? It, I like I like his old auto his old line. He's like, sorry, I only signed for chicks. We're gonna need a restoration for that line too, man. I don't care if it's more faithful to the Japanese translation. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's it's for little Bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you go, sir. The autograph of the XS Express engineer. Gosh, I've never gotten out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. Oh, look how cute he is, doing his little tipping hat. Riding this train during the sunset's the high point of every day for me. So let's all hear it for the XX Express. Huzzah, huzzah! I want to see if um, any of the dialogue has changed. You got an autograph from the train engineer. I think this makes Bub happy. Let's visit him in cabin 8. Hey, Zip Toad, I got an autograph. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm sad they censored that line. Well, I don't. It's hard to say if it's really censored. Like, it's more like a relocalization. You know what I mean? You help me find my gold ring? Oh, thanks ever so. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's more like a relocalization than a, a censor censorship. But again, not really a big fan of that, honestly. See, now this is a chapter where I don't really mind the backtracking. It's pretty chill, honestly. Welcome to the dining car. You are just the greatest. Thanks so much for agreeing to find my shell earrings. She's so cute. They made her even cuter in this game. It's amazing. But maybe it's also just because I have a thing for waitresses. Actually, what does the... I want to see what the, um, the conductor says. Okay, that's the same. Just making sure. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? No! You haven't found it yet? Ha! <laughs> yeah, bingo, mister! That's just what I wanted! You're a good detective! Here's something for you, just like I said. Giant Sprite. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. We must get him something that befits the station of our family. I have my, my reputation to think of, Sylvia. Well, I still think we should get them the classic series of Bob Ombre. Hey, uh, by the way, what's a detective anyway? The <laughs> Family in Cabin 8 doesn't seem to be the culprits. Maybe we should check with the Pen with Pennington in Cabin 6? I'm going to try and get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So, uh, could you stay on my way for a while? Man, I love the, the, the lighting in here is fucking sick. So, looks like it was an autograph, eh, Luigi? Hmm, yes, just as I suspected. Oh, the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. It smells of a new mystery. Let's hear what the conductor has to say. He should be in the fourth car. Uh, well, yeah, let's go talk to him then. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remember something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to the passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but I don't get my blanket back. It'll be too chilly for me to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger, get that blanket. I thank you. No! Oh, really? That's too bad. I guess I'll just haul, haul under a candy wrapper. <laughs> That's a good line. Mario, please, won't you please let, look for that unticketed passenger, get that blanket? Call me Blanket Private Investigator. Honestly? Great, thanks. 
Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll keep waiting for the good news. <laughs> He's so happy. The Blankethy might be also hiding the threat threatening note. I have a train wide investigation. Hey, uh, by the way, it was a detective. Yeah, this is all this is the same. They're still arguing, dude. What the F? Just making just checking if any of these are uh new, you know. What's this? There's an unticketed passenger. Just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we're hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin 8. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I'll give you today. My sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigation. Investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share. If I so choose. No, truly. For example, the unticketed passengers, without a doubt, are yummy, sticky suspect. Oh, okay. Yeah, the dialogue definitely is slower in this game, though. I'm still noticing it. I tried installing the faster text mod, but I don't know if that's making a difference. And now, if you please, I must begin to repair the evening odors. Ah, uh, no. Curse the stag I mean. Mine. I mean the evening or the verse. Welcome to the dining car. It's easy to vibe, though. No, obviously I know what to do, but I want to get all the flavor text, you know? I heard some noises at the cabin next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that cabin for me? Oh, that's that's your hint. Okay, I see. Okay, so not gonna lie. I felt like laying down. So, I'm just gonna get a little comfy if you don't mind. There we go. That should be... Actually, wait, hang on. There we go. Perfect. I wanna get a little comfy. You know? I wanna lay down... I haven't laid down all day. So, yeah. There we go. Alright, I mean, I might, I might sound a little different because I'm laying down. Hope that's not a huge deal. I think her dialogue is going to remain pretty much unchanged. For the entirety of the train ride. I'm gonna shoot this little multi bullion coin art flick and punch the heads, yo. I tell ya. Be I think that's the same, actually. It's actually not a lot of unique dialogue. What the hell? Well, I gotta talk to the conductor, obviously. Or, or is it? I think this guy's the engineer, not the conductor, right? Driving a night so mysterious, what with the lights and bugs and whatnot. Come, let's y'all hear it for the Asterix Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! Wahoo! I love that noise it makes when Mari does the spin jump. It's like. That's a fun noise to make. I sense a presence here. Maybe they'll reveal themselves if we use my ability to make them think they're alone. I'll oh, see a nice tip a nice tip from Vivian, you know. Ooh. Oh So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. Well, he even has his own unique text box. That's pretty cool. 
I'm cursed to haunt this place. Blanket? Well, yes. The guitar did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. The yummy sticky thread? No, I love so such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? I don't help with ghosts. I see. That's your choice. But then I can't tell you where the blanket is. One thing I really like is that you can stand through him. Pretty neat, uh, oh, oh, oopsie. Pretty neat detail, you know. That's ghosty. He's pretty, he's a pretty, he's pretty lighthearted for a ghost. But still, a ghost is a ghost. See, I'll be then. Fine. All I need is... Your life. Nah, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood dates. And my fear that someone would find it, read it, has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where your blanket is. Okay. Please find my diary in the baggage car. Okay. The ghost diary should be in the baggage car. Let's go explain everything to the conductor in car 4 and ask him to let us check in there. And don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do... <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. <laughs> Very sinister. Arguably more sinister than the original. But you know what? I like that. I like that quite a lot, actually. Well, you guys already know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> we gotta read the diary, dude. Bam. Bam. The unticketed passenger was a ghost. My dear Luigi, you are delusional. Do you have the vapors, lad? <laughs> you are to you are delusional. That's an amazing line. Did you find the blanket? What? A ghost? Ah! Hey, you won't give me the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Let's search the baggage car for the ghost diary. There's the baggage car. Usually passengers aren't allowed back here. Looks like there's a lot of cargo here, ready to be unloaded at the next stop. Where could that diary be? Let's look in, let's look carefully and search each and every corner. Even the smallest gaps. Oh, it's in a treasure chest now. That's new. Ragged diary. The diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. Let's return the diary to the ghost in Cannon 4. The urge to read is strong, but we won't give in, right? Oh, I'd like to give in, actually. Because I am not the smart... Did you find a diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. Now I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. Okay, well we're gonna go save and read it, cause you know you know how it is. You know how it is. It's funny. I'm gonna you know what? I might as well read it in front of his fucking face. That'll make it even more funny. Actually, I'd argue it's 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 more sinister if I do it right here. Oh wow, look at all the stuff we have. <laughs> it reads, don't go to Parsley Heights. Train ticket, blimp ticket. Special card, silver card, peony orb lottery ticket. Ragged diary. Read the diary? Ah, sure, what the heck. You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyways? Ah, sure, what the heck. I mean, think about this, okay? You, This could be really, really bad, you understand me? Ah, sure, what the heck. One star, month X, day X, 
Cloudy, I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked! Even though I told you not to, now see what happens. Damn. Retry that scene. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, let's pretend that they did not happen. I'm not sure what's scarier, that or the original. Because in the original, he just pops out of nowhere with his, like, straight-ass face, and then the fucking screen, like, starts spinning in circles. I don't know if, which I prefer, honestly. Did you find my diary? In that case, can you place it in that drawer? Well, that's new. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket's right there. You got the blanket! This conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. You are very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you've read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Fairly well. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, maybe not. What? I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wood paneling's so great, maybe I'll stay just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wood paneling is so great. You know, it's stay a little while longer. Yeah, I love, I love that guy. He's great. Horror in my Mario game. You're not allowed to scare the kitties. You can't do that. Oh boy, Palace of Shadow is gonna be fucking insane when we get to that. I can already tell. Sunlight's coming through. That's pretty nice. The antiquity past you was a ghost. You're delusional again. Well, we're done day one. So, Mr. Mario, how did you do with the blanket? I don't have it. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comforted all the night. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker's still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Oh, he gives you a super shroom now instead of an oral mushroom. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should turn in for the night. Here you Kevin five in case you forgot. If anything happens, I'll report to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. Anything left to say before I go to bed, Pennington? I see. So it was not, in fact, our yummy, sticky suspect. Just as I suspected. The mystery, de the mystery deepens. It is getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. He does have updated dialogue. That's pretty cool. Yep, they're closed now. Do you guys have anything to say before I go to bed? I'm doing prep work, prep work for tomorrow's meals, which will be Prites of Glory. Ah, oh, Jerry's tongue. I'm doing prep work for tomorrow's meals. Oh shit, now I kinda wanna check out what the bob and the mouse guy have to say. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's a good time to call the night, let's head back to Cat 5 and get some rest. It's been hard. It's been hard keeping night watch lately. It was a piece of cake when I was young. 
I wonder if they kept the Easter egg where random NPCs show up on the train when you, uh, like, ride the train again, you know what I mean? It's time to sleep, these dad says ghosts come out if you stay up late. Good gracious, I just noticed there are only two beds here. Does that mean I'm just share a bed with the wife? Hmm. Do they not know she explodes regularly in her sleep? I demand a refund. That is some amazing dialogue. Ah, uh, there are only two beds. I suppose I'll share the bed with Bob. Dear Gold Bob's night sweats are repugnant. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Sharing a wife. Do I have to share a bed with the wife? Do, 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 do. The kitchen's closed. But everybody has shit to say before I go to bed, man. I want to hear what they have to say, man. I think I might eat a bit of that snack. Is that dining car still open? Wow. Funk. I love doing that. I don't know why I love doing that so much. Morant. Do do do. A new dialogue from you. Ah, uh, time for my beauty sleep. Staying up late causes wrinkles, you know. Maybe that's why I look so young and beautiful. Because I always go to bed at a decent time. I'm feeling totally wrung out, guy. It's hard being famous, let me tell you. Does the uh, engineer have anything funny to say? <laughs> For the engineer, there is neither night nor day. There is only the long, lonely track stretching to the horizon. How the fuck do you stay up all night and all day? For three days straight. I question. I mean, if I was able to do that, holy shit, would I get more done? But, sadly, that's not how things work. I mean, I have been getting a lot more done ever since I started sleeping for seven hours instead of eight. I mean, having one extra hour every day of the year is a pretty big fucking deal. I mean... <laughs> you know what, before I go to bed, let me do some math on that, huh? Let's get some shut eye, okay, Mario? What is 365 divided by 24? You get about 15 extra days worth of hours? Crazy. Just by sleeping one hour less every night. Exercise Express, day two. We need to find out who wrote that threatening note. Me, Pennington, Count Six has news for us. I do like this music. Hey, Mario Mario, have you seen the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad chowdery nightmare. Thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Woohoo! Well, hello there, you big cuddly bear of a man, you. You're delightful, dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't go desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to make to find it. Yeah, if I'm not, not mistaken, yeah, Zip Toad is not here. Sus, huh? Very sus. Love this music, dude. Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? We will be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. Yep, good old Riverside Station. Can't wait to go there. That place is gonna look fucking dope in the remake.
Anyways, I really haven't been doing anything else besides playing this game, by the way. It's literally just been this game, and nothing else. And even some of my friends are pissed off at me that I'm taking the weekend off just to play this game. Oh my god, RDM issue 5! Local Mystic Merlovely was taken to the hospital today, called quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Merlovely suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge on eight mushroom steaks. The Divine Diviner exclaimed that her aura was brimming with the power of steak, but this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. This time, let's head to Keel Hall Gallery. We are proud to toast the entrepreneurial spirit, spirit shown by the managerial team who brought free commerce to this desert island. I really want to do something that had never been done before. Gush, the unsinkable proprietor, that former and former fight fan. Call me the invincible shopmaster from now on. I'm 100% serious. Print that. We wish him all the success that he can grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. This is up, Ruvies, because here's another intermediate level recipe. Today's the single serving peach tart. Take a peachy peach and cake mix. Stir and bake. Try that at tea time, rookies. Thanks for reading the best rag in the land. See you next issue. I do need to get me some more peachy peaches. I will keep at it. Good morning. Any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Hello, it's a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious, it will make the day mad. Ho 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 ho. And I still only have 10 bucks. 10 bucks for travel is shite. When Voic Coded Voice Mod. Probably after the chapter, during the Peach interlude. <laughs> Uh-oh, hold on, we'll talk to that guy in a sec. We're gonna go talk to the bob family. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. Top of the morning to you, Gonzales. I'm afraid you saw us out of arguing worse yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. Little Bob sure has seen high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We'll be stopping at Riverside Station today, around dusk, I believe. Yep, so that'll be halfway through the day. Riverside basically marks, like, the halfway point of the, uh, chapter. So, yeah, I mean, not bad, huh? Ah, uh, my dear Luigi. Your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, here, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive! The resulting goo blast would mobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen in the wrong hands, well I could lose more than my job. Actually, I got a big brain idea real quick. They got Detective Club Penguin in this game. Yes, they do. Hey, I got an idea. I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna do a full screen projector. That way... That way I can see the, um... What you call it? I can see the, the chat without having to look at my phone. You know what I mean? Go away, mouse. I don't want to see you. There we go. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in their intervening time. I have it. Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. 
Pennington, you've done it again. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin two? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they can make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. This man is fucking dumb. Yeah, he kinda is. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. Yeah, that's not Luigi. There is but one option, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. Oh, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. Hello, is it good thing day? Is it a friend of mine? You got a delicious day. I think I read that already. Bonk. I mean, honestly, I don't think there's anybody really talk to, so I'm gonna just go to my room. Oh, wait, no, no. You have to go to Zip Toad's room to do it. Yeah, here we go. Vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. That is definitely something. Why is Mario doing the gritty? <laughs> See, you noticed it finally. It's pretty great, honestly. Dude, it's only been like two or three days and we already have a funny ass mod for this game. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? What is this paper, hmm? What sort of clue is it supposed to be? Too short to mod. Well, too bad. We already have mods. Ugh! Oh, that's one of the contracts, right? Upcoming business deal! What? I mean, yes. Just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Kevin, what you say? Yes, Zip Toad's room. A place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he's hiding somewhere on this train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that Zip Toad. Let's look for Zip Toad. I think we should check each and every cabin. Oh, not good, not good. You know what you need to do, do you know, Luigi? Find that zip toad. He must be hiding somewhere on the train. So search absolutely everywhere. Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. I love this fucking detective music, it's so good. This penguin really thinks he's Skipper <laughs> from Penguins of Madagascar. <laughs> yes. Could this be another clue? The document's totally like that other one. 
The suspect must be in here somewhere. Alright, hold on. This thief might be hiding in here. Maybe they'll show themselves if we hide in the shadows together. I'm gonna hide in the paper. Whoop. Udao, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Oh! What's that, <laughs> what's that fucking moat farm music, dude? So this was our man all along, pretending to be zip toed, I see. All the while pilfering things from others. To aid your evil plan. Hmm. Yes, this was all just as I guessed. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses! I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station 2, dude. That's He Man Toad? You know what? He kinda does. Pistol sunglasses. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. And the good people on this train are now safe. For indubitably, no one escapes this improbable dodge brain. Hm. Well, yes. In any case, at least return what you've stolen, think. Huh. <laughs> Briefcase! With Nitro Honey Syrup inside. The gold ring that Toodles lost. The shell earrings lost by the waitress. They are mine for X. Uh, my precious briefcase! Is the Nitro Honey Syrup safe? No! Please give it to me! No! Please give it to me! No! Please! Okay, fine! The briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank the stars, it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by most, my most rudimentary of deductions. Attention, male passengers, this train will make a brief stock schedule stop at the Riverside Station. <laughs> That sound sounds familiar. Ooh, look at the clock. When's the half of this chapter? We're at the half point now. <laughs> they have him tied up. That's fucking hilarious. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Belden would flip if I let that happen. This old zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Dupless. Belden's plan to go find Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Belden. See ya, suckers. Yeet. Yeah. When I got outside for a second, the exit's in the first car. I don't remember if that's the voice I gave Duplass in Chapter 4, but you know what? We're rolling with it. We just sat out for some fresh air as well. The exit's up in car 1. Wow, it's not like we're right in front of the door or anything. You're at a Riverside Station. This is Riverside Station. It's one of the places where the XX Express stops. This place is famous for its scenic beauty and it's the sunsets, you know? Just one more of many pleasures excess XS Express passengers get to enjoy. This is Riverside Station. Why don't we take a chance to look around? We could take the station crew too. Mario Golf 2, Mario doing the fucking gritty is so cursed yet funny. It's funny I'm keeping it, dude. <laughs> I love it. 
So, little Bob really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? It's so super cool looking. I want to drive it right now. Alright, so here we are at Riverside Station. A station that XX Express must stop at in order to refuel. Long ago, a river flowed beneath the drawbridge, but it has since dried up. The view of the setting sun from here is unrivaled, according to the locals. Why is Toad fat? Because why not? We can't have Mario can't Mario Golf. Oh no, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats go into this station. They must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So I'm um, really against protocol asking a passenger to do this, but since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go and find and throw that switch? Maybe? No! Oh well, now what are we gonna do? <laughs> what? Okay. Really? That would be super. No time to get started like the present, so here's the station's entrance key. Yay! Oh, thank you so much. Please go find the controller and put the bridge twist. You are our only hope. The switch for the the switch for the bridge is located somewhere below the station. The question is, how do we get there? Also, uh, you get a nice view of the sunset there. Heck, at all, you need something for the old battle master. Do you have anything new that I can read about? Nope, these are all the same. Oh, I've been cooped up and now everything's stale air for too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. Oh, we're fully healed, so we'll be fine. Ah, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. He was a rather slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all of that Beldum business. Oh yeah, let me, let me tile everybody real quick. I think that's the same. That's a Riverside worker. He stands here all day to ensure the train's safety. Wow, well, I would hate having to work in a place like this. There's nothing around here. As a Riverside station worker, this is where they refuel. Wait, I'm reading it in Toad's voice. Why am I reading Toad and not Goombella's voice? That's a Riverside station worker. This is where they refuel the XX Express. I wonder what he uses for fuel, fuel anyway. Probably golden oil or something. This is Riverside Station. We've stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge from where the pleasure boats cruise the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal has dried up and turned to pasture. This is one of my. F this is this is honestly one of my favorite areas, just because of how atmospheric it is. We're inside the Riverside Station. It's an old brick building with natural warmth. Its antique elevator is totally charming, too. I'm in love with that thing. You think it works, though? I'm not that fond of getting trapped in elevators. I think this area is just really cool. <laughs> I got so many voices, I forgot who to voice I. I just love the atmosphere in here because it's like the only... It's like one of the only areas in the game that has no music. It's so, like... I don't know what to call it. I don't know, I just, I just really like it, that's all I have to say. We're inside Riverside Station. This place has been out of use for a while, I think. I love those solitary light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. It's so shabby chic. Shabby chic, whatever. No star piece in here. Ooh, Yes, there is no music in the original. It was like this. 
in the original. There, there was no music here. It's just kind of like this, and I, I, I don't know. I like it. I don't know why. When Coke Chan dance? I don't know. Hey, yo, listen to this. It's fucking jazz. It's very casino sounding. This is a rough puff. Don't confuse him with dark puffs. Well, I don't think the world would end up if you, it would end if you did confuse them. But anyway, these Subi you are charging themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. And if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock, and it'll absorb any lightning attacks you throw their way. So don't do that. All right, burn. Well, you got me into danger, so I appreciate it. Yeah! Pretty nice way to get into danger, I'll say. Fuck are you! This is the other side of the big clock. Lots of endlessly moving gears. A lonely clock counting out the endless progression of hours. Heard by no one. The search for the drawbridge is located somewhere below the station. Intelligent systems really love their jazz music. They really do. Oh boy. Oh my god, they made this shit faster. What the fuck? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh my god. They made they made this shit harder. What the hell? Oh my god, stop. <laughs> I can't get across. Bruh. What the fuck? This is impossible, what the hell? Is it, is it even possible to make it through here? It just, I, it's not possible to do that. What the fuck? I might have to use Yoshi there or something to get across. I don't know. The fuck? Bro, stop doing that. Jeez. You let me across? No! God damn it. Oh my god, I can't fucking do this, dude. I saw a pattern where the blue one stopped. I guess that pattern. Oh 
Hmm, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be the worst thing ever. I'm timing it too late and too early. I don't really care what I'm doing, it's just bullshit is what it is. I found the pattern, though. Let me across. There we go. Jeez, that sucked. Why'd they make that, like, 50 times harder than the original? Also, I don't remember there being an item there in the original. I hope I never have to backtrack to this room ever again. Show me that platform. I can bet I could get us over there. No sweat. Woo. I think it's easier to actually do with coops, honestly. Dude. Yeah, it's easier to do with coops. Wow, so they made this room way harder in the remake. Weird change, but okay. Fog. You know what? Time for Shell Slam, then. Zap. Zappy! That <laughs> Koops has seen some shit. Nice, drop some flowers. Right, you know what? I think I'm gonna sit up now. I'm kind of tired of laying down. I know that might sound kind of weird, but yeah. There must be some place here where we can use that key that we found. Here we go. There it goes. We really got a save point here. Ooh, listen to this music. Let's search for the bra bridge. Bra, bra bridge? We're on the other stairs. It's nice to step outside the station to get some fresh air. Hey Mario, can we just take in this killer sunset for a while before the next bad guy appointment? Oh, well, I need Goombella out so I can title this Pokey. That's a poison pokey. As you probably guess, it's a poisonous pokey. If you get poison, your hate shield slowly drains, so you want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but don't, they have spines all over them, so don't touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. <laughs> they're not happy to see you. He Oops. 
Yeah, I super guarded the pokey. Let's go. Fuck you. Oh, now I'm not in danger anymore. Shite. Burn them. Oh. Oh. Mario flipping you off. Oh. Alright, let's do mini egg. Because why not? Yeet, 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 yeet. He even does the gritty in battle, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that Mario flips you off, it's really funny. Ooh, Thunder Rage. Yo, let's go, I got the first strike. Yeah, eight damage. That is pretty funny how Mario flips you off after battles now. Look at all those flyers I'm getting. So many posters all over the wall. I'm certain I could whip up a strong gust of wind to blow them all away. The what is that? There's like a Goomba mustache thing? Nope. Nope. Wait, what is that? Ooh, maple syrup. You know what? I'll take it. I could use the maple. I could use the FP, honestly. I remember in the original, this place lags quite a bit. So, it's nice to see this place not laggy, honestly. Yeah, that is a Goomba. Bonk. Alright, spiky Parabuzzy. One of the worst enemies in the game. That is a spiky Parabuzzy. It's a Buzzy with a spike and wings. Hey, the same stats as a normal Buzzy. Firing explosions don't work on Buzzy, in case you've forgotten. Worse yet, this one flies in the air and has a spike. What a total pain. You better be, use better, be better off using an item or a special move to take them out. Or I could yeet. Yeah. Stylish was for that. Meow. This is gonna be exciting, guys. Though we're about to get the ultra, the ultra hammer soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of the best badges in the game. Um, I don't have enough to put it on. We need Coke Chan doing to do her dance and Mario doing the gritty and highlights. Oh yeah, Coke Chan dance. I still need to do a video on that. I, I'm very forgetful. Hmm. I might have to take off Flower Finder or P up D down. It's just that good of a badge. I mean plus one attack. Like come on. I mean yeah, I do have defend plus, but whatever. Hmm. You know what? Sleepy Stomp. Put that on too for shits and giggles. 
I think I found the right way to go. Oh. oh they, put, they put a super shroom in there instead of a dry shroom. Interesting. Actually, did I tattle? I don't think I, I don't know if I tattled that area already. Oh man, they 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 don't they don't have the pure silence in here anymore. It's the Riverside Station garbage dump. Talk about an annoying place to navigate. And it smells like rotten goom nuts. It's amazing how much people throw away. <laughs> I did. This is the Riverside Station office, but there doesn't seem to be anybody here. Hey, now that I think about it, why would they put an office down here anyway? Or was I not supposed to bring that up? This is exciting, guys. We're about to get the, um... We're about to get the, uh, what you call it? Um, I forgot what it's called. We're supposed to get the Ultra Boot soon. This is the Riverside Station Records Room. They file all station business here. Or at least I think they do. Yep. These are all probably files. How am I- how's my progress doing? I got all the star pieces. Goombell is such a snitch and knows way too much. But that's why we love her. Oh! Yeah, here. Alright, there we go. I like, that, I like that they make noises. That's cool. Push. There's a button now that... There's a button you have to press now. That's an interesting change. Let's switch for the drawbridge. Just, okay, shut up. Can I make this, by the way? Yeah! That's like a, that's like a Paper Mario 64 thing right there. This is the Riverside Station office. That's one big treasure chest. Alright, hype. You got the Ultra Boots! Hi, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again. Way to get the, way to get the Ultra Boots. Now your jump attack powers will go way, way up. And you can use a new move technique. Let's practice it right now. It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it. Just hold down A and rotate left stick to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a giant spring jump. Remember though, you need to rotate a lot for you release A, okay? Wahoo! The spring jump can also help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Move left or right to move along the pipe and press B to let go of a pipe. Makes a funny noise. <laughs> wow, way to go, Mario. That was very well done. Are you clear on the controls? Fuck you! Okay, you have now you bastard the spring jump. With the spring jump, you can now attack blocks and other things in high in high places. For example, if you punch a panel from below, you can knock off something sitting on top of it. Oh yeah, you can use the spring jump in battle too. So see you next time, I guess. Good luck on your quest. So glad I got that working. I'll let your spring jump could launch you high up and grab pipes way above you. Oh, no funny noise? There's a funny noise in the original where it's like rant 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 rant. I love that noise. Alright, we gotta get this key here too. Whoop. Boink! Uh so now how is our progress? I think we hundred percent at Riverside Chasing, right? Yeah, let's go. Although, so that's a nice, that's a nice quality of life change. You can get out of the gate that way now instead of, uh, having the spring jump again. I approve of that change, honestly. 
Oh, hell no, nah. Pokies. Hell no, nah, SpongeBob. Why are there Pokies in the garbage dump? Ooh. Eh? I love the Goomba posters, they're pretty great. Actually, I got a question. What happens if I turn off the end? Uh, if I t what happens if I turn on the nostalgic tunes? Nothing happens if I turn it on. You know what I was hoping for? I was hoping it would play the original song, <laughs> the one that goes unused in the, in the original, the one that goes like na 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 na. Maybe that's what that's basically that's what this song is based on, though. I don't know. So I guess that means Riverside Station has music now, technically. I'm also, also I'm glad that Mario doesn't get like bonk his head and then fall slowly. <laughs> well, that's fun. I think there's an elevator around here somewhere. There's an elevator right here. Mario pressing a button. Ooh, wow, nice fast elevator. Whoa, Mario. What are these things doing here? They're disgusting. Let's hurry up and chase them off so we can find the switch. What are those weird things? Can you get in the way using your hammer? Here. Oh, I'm glad they made the think the normal sound they do though. Ooh, glad they kept that effect in. A switch, it's the switch room switch. I guess we better switch it, huh? Boink. There you go. Ooh, I'm tired. Zeppi casually found some some wholesome art here. Which I approve of. <clears throat> well, let's gritty our way back up the stairs. Ding. I like the little painting there. That's pretty cool. You think the drawbridge got lowered? Let's get out of here. Hey, thanks a lot, Mario. Now we'll get you guys rolling. They just passing on by. Hurry on board, everybody. Have a good trip. Looks like the drawbridge was loaded correctly. Let's make our way back on the train. Doo, doo, doo. What's up, Gonzalez? Yo, G Money, it's me, King K, your bud from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember. How you doing? What you off K own fools left and right everywhere else? I was still living large in the Mile League, dog. But I'm keeping busy, you know how it is. Gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay away. Or to stay, you fired me up good. 
So we ever gonna chill again or what? Are we gonna just meet in the ring? Careful, next time you front KK, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. Keep it real, King K. I love that. I love the mail in Book of Mario where he's like a street, street, street better. <laughs> I like that. All aboard! Right up on board? Yes. King K rule is in this game. Let's go! Bye! Woo! Oh, I got to I do get to hear the music after all. Attention all passengers, thanks for your patience. Our next stop is our last, Podgley Heights. It'll be long until we reach Podgley Heights. Let's call it a day and get some sleep. Let me sleep! I want to sleep! Let me sleep, please! Well, okay, this chapter is slightly longer than I am, I'll admit. But, it's not bad. Ooh! Some art of Marissa, my waifu. Very nice. Very smash. <laughs> Excess Express, day three. A new day. And it's such a totally cool and brisk morning. I just realized something. The, um... The game capture looks a lot clearer. On, um... What'd you call it? On OBS. Kinda weird, huh? I don't know why it's like that. Maybe I gotta use, like, expanded... It looks blurry. Yeah, that's weird. I'm not sure what's up with that. Yes, I never noticed that before. But, yeah. My Elgato capture card is kind of... Weird. Maybe it's because I'm using like that sharpened upscaler thing or whatever it's called. That's a sales seller. You can buy a sale thing. Oh. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, man. Guess he doesn't want to wake up. We still got time for a re Potchley Heights. Let's walk around and admire the train before the trip ends. Wow. By the way, we're coming up on the boss of the chapter soon, so... Yeah, that'll be fun. Oi, yo! Oi, Mario, how's your stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey wakey. And when it sets, I tuck in for snoozing time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Every now and then, that last Flavio stops by and spits out the bit old drivel about tread war instead of season life. Well, I just tune him out. So, are you off for another adventure? I think it suits uh, you the best. Give him hooligans what you're saving for your princess from Papach. Yeah, the patch is my goat. Where is everybody? There's nobody here. It's so quiet. Ah, uh, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, what did you say? Hmm, is there something on the windshield? Whoa! What are these things? Ew! Aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. Oh! What? 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 What?
Uh, uh, first, we, we have to ensure the passenger safety. Uh, but I, I have to k keep driving the ch train. Mario, can you check out the rest of the train for me? I, I have to keep driving the train. I'm worried about all the other passengers. Let's go make sure they're okay. We should check this whole train front to back. I love how there's like this serious moment and then Mario's just fucking doing the gritty. I mean, he's dancing, man. He's dancing to the music. <laughs> this jazzy music. Ooh, I love the lighting even in here, it, like, changes because they're like clogging up the screen. Hey, guy, are you gonna wake up? Mario doesn't give a fuck right now. Wake up. What? I, I, there was a lot of black things everywhere. Did you save me? Wow. Alright, thanks for, um, thanks for letting me buy shit. I can actually buy stuff now. I'm gonna get some Thunder Rages real quick. That'll be helpful for the boss. Alright, here we go. Well, I know where to go, and there's not really any NPCs, so it doesn't really matter. The jazz is real. S'mores, 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 s'mores. Oh my gosh, they're totally inside the train now. Let's take him out. Okay. Also, I'm gonna get some unique... I'm gonna show off some unique dialogue. They take Mario. They got the waitress. You have to help her. Mario, you saved us again. I, I, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. Where in the world did they come from? Wait, they still have our other paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls. He's like too scary. I wonder if like the other passengers are okay. Where in the world did they come from? Wait, they still have the other paying passengers. That's a conductor. I bet he didn't expect all this today. That's the waitress of the Airstock Express. I bet she's a little shocked by all this. Alright, let's out of you. Out of you. Ooh, this is awesome. Look at this. This is the train's roof. Look at that scenery go, but whip him by. Wowzer. Look, there's no time for me describing stuff. These guys are so annoying. They're flippy and floppy and gross and I hate them. Let's get rid of them. There's so many of them. Drive them away with your hammer so we can keep moving forward. Before I do that... I need to, um... You know what? Let me, uh... Let me take off the stuff that I don't need. Um... Well, actually, I don't mind having all of this. I'm gonna keep all of this on, honestly. I mean, I might take off, like... What, I mean, what could I even put on? You know what? Put on refund. There we go. Perfect badge. Let me throw. Oh! I can't go forward. I'm trying. Let me through! A double emblem? Smorg! It makes you look- it makes you look like Wario.
What is that gross thing? No. Mario, look! It's got the other passengers! Help! <gasps> Boss time. Turn this shit up. Smorg! Can't flee this fight. I love that it fit, just falls out of the sky. That's a smorg. Lots of smorgs gathered to create this huge monster. It attacks with weird tentacles. We won't do any damage to the main body unless you defeat the tentacles first. That's simple biology. The tentacles regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take other forms to expose more of its gross body and boost its attack power. Let's just try and beat this thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. Ooh, also I got multi-bounce, so I can do this now. Whoa! The you just got bonked, loser. Mario cannot act again. All right, power left time. Why is he attacking the vent so low, bro? I mean, this game isn't that isn't really that challenging. Ooh, clean. All right, then we can attack again. Ooh. That was some good damage. And that's without power rushes even on activated right now. Lol, you missed. Ow. I swear the stage heads are making this game too easy. Right, you know what? Let's actually no. Quake hammer won't do. Th Wait, no. Quake hammer will definitely work. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. Eight damage. All right, double dip time. What can we do with a double dip? Hmm. You know what? Thunder rage. Boom. Double Thunder Rage, point swap. Yeah, there we go. Big brain. Round, we're fixing that shit. And I think I can end this boss right now. <laughs> yeah, because I still have my, my, my buff. Didn't even need the extra turn. Easiest boss yet. Oh, Fuck you, boss! I didn't even get to see the claw phase. <laughs> Which, you know what? Maybe I'll show that. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll just watch someone else do that. More, more, more. 
There's all the passengers. You look so sad. Thank you. Wait, it's like you all did... It's like all you did for three days was save us. How can I ever thank you? Fuck you. Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you so much. You saved my life. No, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. So, did you all know? This dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. We'll soon arrive at Posley Heights. We're gonna ignore what that guy just said. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. Yay! Attention all passengers! Now arriving at Poshley Heights! Please watch your step and be sure to take all your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the x Express! We're finally here, Mario! Let's hurry up and find the Poshley Sanctum that the professor was talking about. I gotta do the gritty first. Oh yeah, before I forget, let me give uh, let me give the girl her earrings back. Welcome, welcome. Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings. Yeah. Ooh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, before I forget, take this as my thanks. Yeah. You're like the nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. And I think that... Yeah, 100% XX Express. Now we gotta do Poshly Heights. Oh, now I must prep the vegetables. No, no, stupid, use this foolish frapping tongue. I must prep them. And today I try a new mushroom recipe that will make taste buds whip. This is so fucking jazzy, dude. I love it. In all my years as a conductor, I have never had a trip like that one. And I still can't believe how you say this every time something bad happened. Want to work here? <laughs> That's a good line of dialogue. Can't wait to hear this music properly once I actually get out of the car. But I gotta talk to everybody first. It sounds nice though from what I'm able to hear right now. It like completely switches to like a different like genre. I know it was a wild ride, sir, but did you enjoy the XS Express experience? Please come again. I'm sure you'll find it more sedate because the Express Express is fabulous. Panel right here. Yeah. Where Funny Boony? Um, I don't know, Jose. By the way, I just realized something. <laughs> um, my overclock switch also makes it overheat, which means you hear the fans really loudly, so. Once I finish up this chapter, I might actually, like, lower the clock speed so it doesn't overheat too much. So, yeah. No funny bunny, sadly. Now that we're here, we'll purchase that birthday present for little Bob. Hey, mister, I'm gonna get a train set. The coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps. I believe there's an in coupon behind here. No, that's a star piece. No, I'm stupid. The in coupon's in a different spot. Well, 
All right, so here's right. this. This was the last badge that I ever found in the game, by the way, when I was 100%ing it for the first time. And it's just HP drain P. It's such a lame ass badge, though, seriously. Let me in. Yeah. Let me out. Maybe Funny Boonie later. Welcome to my vacation home, my alluring angel in overalls. So have you already found my gold ring? Yeah. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you'd find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. You have 30 coins! And farewell. That's Toodles the Toad. Gosh, that woman is so fashionable, it makes me sick. She's obviously the kind of lady that belongs here. Classy all the way. That's the Ratatouille businessman who was on the XX Express. He's still trying to put everything on his expense account. Sketchy. The business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I may do some sightseeing at Poshly Sanctum. On the excess of account, of course. So if you have to ask by now. I think these I think these titles never change, so I'm just gonna do that. Also I love this place because it has the return of bump these from Paper Mario 64. Look at how cute they are. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novelist. Herringway's detective books have sold so well that he's bought a second house here. So lovely house, huh? Yeah, sure, take your time and soak in all of its majesty. I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside too. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novelist. Moving from frigid Chipper City to toasty Poshley Heights seems to have irked him. The boonie will be on Sunday. Oh yeah, you're right. I guess, I guess it's sort of fun to leave here. But I can't eat snow cones or make a little snowman or go ice skating. Or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City. Huh. <laughs> uh, don't know what you got till it's gone. Aw, feel bad for him. Yeah, I love that these guys are all just from Shiver City. It's great. That's the resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Herringway the novelist. Now that he's used to life here, he seems to be making the most of it, huh? Oh, I think there's a star piece back here, too. Okay, never mind. Let me get this in coupon, by the way. I've heard Hoffman's Poshley Heights was a quiet place, but there are a lot of tourists, hey? Maybe I should open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs? Yeah, maybe. Club Penguin reference. Welcome to you. How'd you like to buy some high quality fresh pasta as a souvenir? One package costs 50 coins, how about it? Buy it! A package of high quality fresh pasta runs 50 coins, why another? Buy it! Why buy it? No! Thank you. We are the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Poshley Heights sure is a place for the righteous of rich, huh? We're thinking of going to see the Poshley Sanctum next. Hmm. I think that's the same. That's a tow shopkeeper. They're selling fresh pasta as a souvenir. True, true to his name, Poshley Heights is serving up high caliber noodles with fittingly rich flavor, no doubt. Yeah, I'll probably lower my switch clock speed because I don't want it to overheat. I, I, that that would just be bad for it. So, yeah. Ooh, this place is real nice. Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. Isn't the last of the reception desk magnifique? I shall stay here every night until her heart is mine. I shall not tire. I've had more than enough of this guy. How does he do it? I'm almost impressed now. He moves at light speed and he always knows where we'll be. Taco, freaky. That's the hotel receptionist. If you feel down and out, you ought to rest here. This is the nicest hotel in a super fancy town. I bet they have totally great service. 
Not concerned. This is a, a royal poshly parked tower. We found a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. Even for the night costs a mere 30 coins, would you like to stay? I'm using in coupon. Excuse me, sir, but you seem to be all rested up to me. Would you still like to stay? Sure. We appreciate you staying with us, sir. We have prepared the penthouse on the top floor for you. I trust you to fill your liking. Please make yourself at home. Okay. I've always really liked this. This this is a really fucking nice room. It's just a shame you never get to run around in it. Because it auto holds your controls. So you never get to see what's in that drawer. The mysteries. Well, I love the excess express painting above the thing, by the way, the wall. We set a gourmet meal prepared by the famous chef Zest Tea on the table. And were you satisfied with our service, sir? Most excellent. We look forward to your next visit. Yes, I want that. Give me! Omelette meal. Yum. That's an item I can actually cook myself, and I haven't made it yet. Well, that's it. That's it right there. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He says he walks barefoot for his health. I wonder if I should try that. It may not look like it, but I get pretty stressed out. Like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better. You betcha. Can you join me, guy? People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose. Because it's a bit different every day, you know? It's not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never see another day just like today. So treat each day like it's unique. That's Todia of Poshley Heights. She has a lot of time thinking by this fountain. She's actually leading a double life as the secretary of the Luigi fan club. Oh yeah, that'll be relevant later, by the way. Hey there. Poshley Heights is sure nice and warm, eh? You, I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. Did I title this guy yet? That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's totally fixate on this spot for some reason. I was thinking maybe he hops into the fountain on really hot days. But wasn't there a nasty old snapping nibbles in that fountain? What's happening on Sunday? Oh, we're playing Toho 12.3. Yep, sure enough, there is a nibbles in there. I told you, Mario. How can we get inside Poshley Sanctum? Guess we should take a look around. Poshley Sanctum is a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. I could just stare at it all day, you betcha. Yeah, you can look forward to that. Let me get that. Yes! Actually, question. What happens if I bonk the ceiling here? Hopefully the mod will be there. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta get that. Oh, no funny sound. Gone traveling. Sanctum manager. No way. This is super weak. What do we do? Ah, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Not sure if I'll come back to the Toho series, though. Eh, it's just for Toho fighting games. What? You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager? I totally thought you were a detective. Well, yes, that is more like a hobby of mine, if truth must be told. Whoa! It's been months since I played Toho 8. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? But enough chatter, hmm? That's Pennington. I guess sleuthing's just his hobby. He's the Sanctum Keeper. I knew that detective bit was fishy, but I guess a little sleuthing on the side is okay. They should use the bonk sound when Mario bonks his head on the ceiling. That would be good. 
Whee! You're one step too late! We have the Crystal Star! Hey, don't leave without me! Ooh. He just jumps out. Oh no! We're too late! We gotta go after them! <laughs> you and I are neck and neck when it comes to finishing two Who games. Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Hello. Hmm, it's quite rudimentary. So you are looking for the crystal star in this sanctum. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude friend stole was, unfo was fortunately a red herring. A fake. Oh! The real one is in somewhere in the sanctum to prevent such a theft. However, as the location of the real crystal star. Well, as Sanctum Manager, I am of course prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Of that you can be most certain. Yes, indeed. Besides, I am sure I'm, I'm sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Imperishable Night is fucking great. I love that one. Now, Luigi. But to use all of the razor shop sleuthing skills I've taught you. Make me proud. Bonk. I am, of course, prohibited from telling you. But it's not as if I've merely forgotten or anything. Oh no, don't make me chortle. The secret is quite safe, but you must find out on your own, Alfred. Right? Hold on, real quick. I want to go bonk some penguins. I never did that. Bonk. 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 Okay, I'm done. I'm good. I'm happy now. This is Poxley Sanctum. Curious space inside. Echo, echo, echo. Does Pennington really live here alone? I bet mean, it's hard to clean this place. When F.E. Strand begins. I don't fucking know, bro. Woo! The star marks on the floor sure stand out in here. I think there's supposed to be some kind of sign. Yep, sure enough. Time to do more gritty. I remember if there's anything else here. <laughs> of course you don't. You don't fucking know. You better fucking think about it. Also, there's a question mark block down there. I forgot about Radiant Dawn. Oh, true. Whoa! So I think this block is new, by the way. This block over here. How do I hit it? Oh, oh wait, I have to hit it with my Ultra Boots. Oh, another Thunder Rage. Yeah, that they added that into the game. I'm glad they did that. That's pretty neat. I'm kind of sad that you can't like stop your momentum when you're when you're when you hit like. Yeah, you can't stop your momentum anymore when you hit the, the pipes. It's kind of a shame. Anything over here? Oh, there's a block here. Did I get all the, um, did I get everything here? Oh, there's nothing in Poshly Sanctum. Only recently converted to a domicile, this former temple is now home to Pennington, the detective. Town famous for all the wealthy people living in it. There are plenty of extravagant vacation homes and hotels. Yeah, I sh yeah, I did. I 100% chapter 6 now. Well, at least in terms of star pieces and all that. There's a mystery! Fun. And I can't carry anymore. You know what? Use it. I mean, I am excited for Radiant Dawn in June. It's a good thing I get to finish up this game this month, you know? Well, I'm hoping I can finish this game by the end of the month. I mean, I started on the 22nd, and hopefully I can finish by, you know, the 31st? That'd be pretty nice. Honk.
Yeah, I'm gonna finish the game in three days. Actually, it's more like four or five. Also, this is a really cool detail. This is very beautiful. Is this part of Poshley Sanctum too? Exactly, how does all this work? But whatever, this must be the secret resting place of the Crystal Star. Based on his reactions, I'd say that Pennington didn't even know about this. Look at all the booze! There's a dark boo here! That's a dark boo. Pearl just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. Its HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. So just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. Who like that music? This music is very beautiful. I like this song. Hit <laughs> the funny boo noises. You're gonna hype you up the final boss rating. Dawn's intense. Can't wait. And we're about to get we're about to get one of the best badges in the game. Hey, there's a bushi over there. Oh shit! I kind of want that. Wait, how do I get that? No, seriously, how the fuck do I get that? Aw, oh, piss. I don't know how to get that, I'm not gonna worry about it, honestly. I'm gonna reset my game, though, after I got the star, the star piece, though. Or, the crystal star, because I wanna... ...lower my clock speed. Properly, in what way? Look, I, I just don't know how to get that, okay? I don't know how to get that boo sheet. It's just there. I like all the new shit they added, though. That's pretty awesome. The f oh, I think you gotta get that with coops or something. Yep, there we go. But I have too much space! Um... Throw away the Super Shroom, then. But, you know. Love all the uh, extra items they had in the Sanctum, though. That's pretty rad. Oh shit, there's a Shine Sprite up there. <laughs> Some kind of Iron Man... Oh, you're gonna be at the proper way. Wait, what? What is the proper way? Play on like maniac mode or whatever it's called. <laughs> That's the. Is that the proper way? We got the L emblem badge. All right, guys, are you ready to become Cappy? Yeah! Yeah! I got the crystal star! Mario's star power is now 7, and I learned the special move Showstopper! Hard mode Radiant Dawn is actually worse than Maniac mode? What the fuck? Then do Maniac mode! <laughs> Easy, simple solution. Mario found the six crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshly Heights Sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains. But our hero still doesn't know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be? And where is Princess Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. Buh. Now technically that isn't the end of the chapter, you actually have to leave. Which is a little weird. 
It's weird that, like, three chapters don't end properly. <laughs> Chapter four, five, and six all don't end the proper way they're supposed to. But, yeah. Hmm, so that's where it was. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Just talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. Kind of weird. I haven't seen anybody complete Iron Man rating Don hard. So please, feel free to take it. I'll just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. But I'm sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi. Do not give up. <laughs> Fuck you! Let's return to Rogueport. Oh. You don't... You, do, you, you don't, um... You don't walk through the door anymore. That's too bad. Alright. I'll be right back. We'll be right back, though. More Paper Mario TTYD. Uh, I just gotta do something really quick. <laughs> 